All right, you guys, it's your girl, Sandra D, the main event, and welcome to my channel and to my community of love and unity. We will not be talking about hair, and we will not be talking about food. We are on the road of talking about the narcissist, and if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting on? So now we're going to continue this video. I apologize, you guys. The first video had cut off on me, so let's continue. So the narcissist did not start off being a narcissist. When the narcissist was traumatized, when the narcissist went through this trauma bond of whomever it was that hurted them as a child, this is when the narcissist began to build their alter ego as a way of protecting themselves from the hurt and the harm of the person that was a predator to them. The person that was supposed to care for them did not care for them or they, 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 that was their way of showing that they cared for the narcissist because the person that was caring for the narcissist also could have been groomed into the same cycle of abuse. And so that same cycle continue. So what they wind up doing was what they went through. They also put their child through. It's a generational curse. And maybe the person that did this to them did not recognize and understand that this was a generational curse or that this wasn't something that they should or should not do, but they decided to do. I don't know if it was pressure from their own family or, or this was just something that their the individual that went through the same abuse that they were unhealed and it was a way for them to block things out as well. So they put their child in danger and cause a trauma bond to them as a way of training them in a way of safeguarding themselves, which is nothing but a lie from the pits of hell because you're causing damage and you're causing an afflicting pain on someone who's going to grow up to do the same abuse in the same tactics to others, if not to their own children. And so the narcissist was not always a narcissist, but you also have to remember that the devil goes after children and it starts at a young age. And the narcissist does not, or some narcissists don't believe in God because they think to themselves, how is God real when he allowed this to happen? Because children know when there's a predator. Children know when there's something not right. Even when you're adult, you recognize certain things, but children are so innocent to where they pick up on things in this nature. So when the narcissist grew up, the narcissist grew up in a false identity to begin with because they lost the essence of who they were. And they lost that essence because they carry this childhood trauma that is a bond that they are connected to. And the pain that they suffered is a consistent cycle of abuse. And it does something not only to them inside but also psychologically so narcissists don't know how to have healthy relationships they want healthy relationships but because they're not healthy they cannot maintain and keep healthy relationships so when a narcissist comes across someone like you who was chosen the narcissist is going to lose that relationship faster than when it began. And for those who are chosen, you can testify in the comment section that what I'm saying is accurate and what I'm saying is true. Because the narcissist did not see you 
They knew that there was something unique and special about you. But there were things that was hidden from the narcissist that the narcissist could not see because the narcissist is blinded and does not want to accept things that are true. They live in this fantasy world of things that are false. So if you tell the narcissist something that is true, the narcissist is going to argue you down as a way of saying that what you're saying is not correct because their upbringing and what they've been through. So when you're dealing with someone with unhealed traumas and that's unhealthy and that has low self-esteem and you're giving them things that are good and pure and out of a right motive, they're not going to recognize that as a right motive. They're going to look at you as someone who is trying to abuse them or take advantage of them because someone that was kind and sweet and loving towards that narcissist that they trusted mistreated them, abused them, and put them into that trauma bond. So the narcissist does not recognize healthy relationships. And when they see someone like you, that is pure, kind, loving, and pure hearted with right motives, they flash back to the trauma where they snapped, okay? Because they couldn't believe that someone that they trusted would do them this way to where even though you're nothing like the person that hurt them, they will see you as that threat. They will see you as someone that does not have their best interests at heart. They will treat you like you are the enemy because the person that was supposed to be for them hurt them. So even though you're kind, you're loving, you're sweet, you're wonderful, you're all those things, the narcissist is not really going to be that receptive. They will be at first, but once you correct them in something that you see that they doing to you that's wrong or you correct something that's not right on how they're treating you, they will revert back to that little child. And at that point, you are the enemy because you caused them hurt because they are reverting back to when they was a child. Now, none of this is your fault. Even when the narcissist was abused, that part wasn't their fault. But where the narcissist is at fault is that as they grew up as an adult, instead of them getting the healing and the help and the deliverance that they needed, they continued in that behavior. And this is where the narcissist begins to also not only suffer from continuous abuse of the remembrance of what they went through as children, they continuously feel pain and hurt because when they're hurting someone else and they decide that they, they, that the person and has every right to leave, it causes them even more pain and that causes them to want to hurt you, to attack you because they feel like you are the same person that abused them when they was children and that ain't even you. I want you guys to get your breakthrough and understand that when you were in the relationship with the narcissist, even though that narcissist targeted you, that narcissist really does want healthy relationship, but cannot maintain healthy relationships because they're broken. Now they will tell you they sob story in hopes that you will continue to stay, but it's not because they're trying to change. They want you to accept the behavior that they have so that they can continue to manipulate you, abuse you and hurt you because to them that's normal. They know it's not normal. Please believe, believe it, please. They know it's not normal because they knew it wasn't normal from what happened to them when they were children. But because of the environment that they grew up in and the cycle that they continue to live in, it's installed in them instead of them realizing that they can reboot, 
uninstall that stuff and get healed. So, re so relationships with people is not going to be really long-term relationships. Now they may get with somebody and marry them, but please believe they're having extramarital affairs behind the scenes in a booth in the dark. Somebody going to testify of that also inside of this comment in our community. Because someone can testify that what I'm saying to you is accurate and true. The narcissist is going to have someone that is going to be their main thing. Okay. They going to have a boo. That's going to be their number one. But that number one that they did marry is the one that does not know no better and does not know that the narcissist is one, a narcissist, and they don't realize that they're being abused. They are taking advantage of their kindness because that narcissist was able to reprogram them with that reasonable doubt. They was able to pull on them heartstrings so much to where that person became a revolving door to where whatever the narcissist says and does, they can't see no wrong. And that's what the narcissist wanted. The narcissist wanted a yes man. That narcissist wanted whatever you like. That's what the narcissist wanted. Because that's what the narcissist had became when they were kids. Whoever told that narcissist to jump, they said, how high? When somebody said, I want you to do this, they was like, whatever you like. And so the narcissist wants to have relationships and train the people that they are with to be like them. Because this is their cycle of abuse that they are accustomed to these are the tactics that they use and they will continue to use these things because they are broken and insecure now that doesn't mean that the narcissist can't be helped but you just can't be the one to help the narcissist because there's nothing that you can do to help the narcissist the narcissist has to go out and get the help themselves and then and only then and if you decide would be my ass i'm just gonna keep it a buck that you want to give the narcissist another shot and you see that they are truly legit you could if you want to but i would not advise it because once that relationship is over and done you need to allow that narcissist to go and heal and they need to pursue another relationship because that relationship don't need to be with you now when a narcissist came into your life or cross paths with you that was the opportunity for the narcissist to receive something that God wanted to give to the narcissist as olive branch because God knows everything that happened with that narcissist and the devil does too. And the devil was trying to deceive as many people as he can. And that narcissist was deceived by the enemy. And so was the person that was caring for the narcissist. Again, generational curse. The narcissist built this whole alter ego as a defense. And the defense was created and made because the narcissist was using this as a shield of protection and a way of trying to avoid being consistently abused so they try to detach themselves from their emotions and they're taught this they're groomed why do you think that the narcissist was working on your emotions but 
they did it in reverse as a way of you keeping the door open so that they could continue this abuse cycle because these demons and these entities and this torment that the narcissist has is trying to transfer those things onto you so that they could get a break from them demons from being tormented in that cycle of abuse and, and things of that nature because they're looking for some relief and you're you're there as someone that they could release those things onto but also they do this as a way of breaking you down because the narcissist was broken down you heard that saying misery loves company well the narcissist is miserable and they want you to join them in their misery the narcissist abuses you because that's what the narcissist knows to do that is something that they don't see that's not normal although they know they absolutely positively know and no by any means am i making any excuse for no narcissist at all but you do need to understand how the narcissist became a narcissist and why the narcissist acts that way that doesn't mean that you feel sorry for somebody who is abusing you no because that narcissist could get help now the narcissist probably did not get the help or the narcissist decided that they didn't want to get help some of them get a thrill out of it they like it and some people do want to change because they don't like it you know you have these evil and wicked entities that the narcissist carries and it's not something easy for them to detox and the reason why it's not easy is because those demons don't want to vacate they want to keep that narcissist trapped and they want to try try to trap as many people as necessary for the kingdom of darkness just like when the devil had deceived two-thirds of the angels in heaven the devil was trying to get as many souls as he can here on this planet called earth because when this passed away there is a difference there is a heaven and there is a hell and the narcissist is used as a tool to recruit people to go down to that hot place of corruption do not be deceived and do not be in denial about the spiritual realm because it is real now the reason why i said that it is hard to heal from these traumas because when you're going through the healing phase you are detoxing those evil entities that the narcissist was transferring on to you now you you're saved sanctified sold out for the lord set apart a chosen one you cannot be demon possessed but you can be demon oppressed i'm gonna say that again you cannot be demon possessed but you can be demon oppressed okay and the narcissist recognizes and realizes that this is why the narcissist is working so hard on the way the way you think the way you choose the way you feel that's why they want control over your mind over your body that's your soul your thinker, your chooser, and your filler. And the narcissist feels that if they could get to those things, that they could keep you trapped for the rest of your life. Why do you think the Bible says renew your mind? For those who read the Bible in Romans 12, 1, it says, 
Present your body a living sacrifice and renew your mind. You got to make sure that you get your freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior courses when you're dealing with these narcissists. Because there are different levels of narcissists. Some of you guys here on the videos, here of Hoover's. Some of y'all say, I ain't been Hoover. Congratulations. Thank God that you ain't been Hoovered. That means that the narcissist you was dealing with was a low-ranking narcissist. No cap, no shade. They know how to move on. Congratulations. But to the hard-headed, stubborn narcissist, oh, them right there, oh, child. Woo. Them the ones that hoover, those the ones that stalk you, those the ones who create create those fake social pages. They'll call you from random numbers, knowing darn gone well that they just trying to call to see if you'll pick up an answer because they just want to hear your voice. Them the, the psychopath, the sociopaths, them the cray crays, them the ones that's like the little clown that you know when you was a child. So hopefully those that can relate to the story that I'm about to check, you know, them little boxes with the clowns that was in the inside that had the hand on the side and it goes, and then that clown pop, pop up. That's like that narcissist. Yeah. The narcissist, they're crazy. Cuckoo bananas. Ain't nothing legit about no narcissist anyway, but you still got different degrees of narcissists. And some of them is just batshit crazy. Let's just put that out there and just tell the truth. You know, them the ones that be trying to practice that dark magic. And then when it come and pass over you and go back to the narcissist, they mad. But they was the ones who sent it. So return the sender. It's supposed to go back to you. So you need to recognize and understand that the narcissist decided to team up with the enemy. And even though the narcissist went through this trauma, they continued the cycle. And when you continue that cycle, that means your team Satan. Because just like the Bible said, you cannot make a bad tree, a good tree, and you can't make a good tree, a bad tree. And we're talking about the fruits because it's going to bear with the nature that it has and the nature of the narcissist is toxic. The nature of a chosen one is good. It's positive. It's pure. They don't have hidden motives, a hidden agenda, but a narcissist does. And you have some narcissists that they are, they just love being evil. They get a kick out of it. They think it's funny. But they don't start thinking that it's funny to when that karma starts to bite them in their behind. And see, depending on the narcissist that you're dealing with, you have some of these narcissists that are so stubborn. They think that they are exempt, that nothing is going to happen to them. They full of pride. But what happens is that God knows how to humble. God knows how to humble a narcissist. God kicked Satan out of heaven. What makes you think that the narcissist is going to be exempt and not get his tail kicked? Now, if the narcissist is that delusional, which they are, like I said, they smart but stupid, they're going to reap that even more. God knows how to bring an individual down to their knees. I mean, even demons know when Jesus walked up on the earth, they was like, we know who you are. Just like the narcissist knows that you were chosen. 
but they wanted to go around and mess with you anyway. Because God said, when you do it to the least of them, my brother, you do it unto me. So when the narcissist was coming up against you, when God was giving the narcissist an olive branch, the narcissist thought that they was meeting you, your shell of the person of who God created you to be. But what they did not recognize and what they did not know is that the spirit of God was in you. So when that narcissist was meeting you and loved all those attributes that they love about you, what they really was loving was God. Make it make sense, y'all. We going to drop some nuggets today. That anointing that they are attracted to, God. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Your personality, all that good, good that's about you, how you level up, that's all God. The narcissist is attracted to the anointing of your life, but don't recognize and realize it's all God. So everything that they want when they're craving you and want to be around you, they really want to be with God. Somebody gone and testify down there in the comments. So while they sitting over here doing all of these things towards you and want to be mad at you because they can't control you. I mean, hey, you can't control God. So what makes you think you're going to control his anointed, his chosen? The chosen don't work for the narcissist. And everything that the narcissist will want to be able to have, all the narcissist has to do is go to God and repent. For real, for real, repent. Not that fake stuff that they be trying to do and thinking they're getting over on us. Because God knows the heart. And when you go through this narcissistic cycle of relationship with these um, individuals, you begin to see it too. Now, you may not have caught it in the beginning, but your show had a gut feeling. You know, your intuition was there. The Holy Spirit was whispering in your ear. You recognized something, but you just could not put your finger on it. And that was because the narcissist went under the, the, the radar. Oh, they good for that one. They came in there disguised as the good guy and was the darn on villain. But you recognize and you realize after you come through a relationship with the narcissist and as painful as it is, God gives you so much gain on different types of evil. You come out better. Your latter is better than your former. And you become even twice as better than the narcissist in the whole kingdom of darkness because you recognize and realize what type of evil forces is behind it. You get spiritual class 101, 102, 103, 104. I mean, you graduate and you level up and you leave that narcissist so far behind a narcissist is mad even though they're trying to keep tabs on you. That comes a point where all that's going to be coming to an end too. Because once God get a hold of that narcissist, that narcissist ain't got no choice but to let go. Because when God say what I tell you, did not tell you no, did not tell you not to touch my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Oh, you think that you was going to get away with this? Oh, you thought this? Well, let me, let me, let me show you what you not going to do. So you don't worry about the narcissist because at the end of the day, God got it. And since the narcissist wants to play a game, God going to come in and say checkmate. Because how the narcissist think they're going to be God when God created heaven and earth and everything in it. And just because God has not gotten to that narcissist yet don't mean that God is not going to get to that narcissist. Because the narcissist, all they doing is digging a big hole for themselves intentionally and on purpose because they heart is so hardened they 
are watching you and want to see what they can learn. But it's like, if you need to know something, why don't you get saved? Because if you're trying to get rid of them demons, instead of you always trying to go through back doors and trying to copy somebody, why don't you set yourself free? Do yourself that favor. If the narcissist wants to not be tormented and, and wants to be relieved of all that trauma and not having healthy relationships and don't want to be broken anymore, they have the ability to go to God and say, Lord, here I am. And any narcissist that's watching this video, all you got to do is say, God, here I am. I want to be saved. Come into my heart. Come into my life. It's a simple prayer. Just ask. Ask God. And don't be arrogant and cocky about it. Be sincere. Be honest. Be open. Let God heal you. Get delivered. Get set free. God got something for you too. You ain't got to be doing all this. Get yourself healed. Get yourself saved. Find out the truth about what really happened. That wasn't God that did that to you. That was the enemy. That was Satan. God never wanted that for you. God gives people free will, just like he gave you free will. But it don't mean that you don't pay the price for what you've done. And if you think the person that hurt you didn't pay a price, you didn't see everything. Because in the end, they got it too. Now, I just wanted you guys to understand that what you went through, it wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault, you know, and it was a very hurtful thing to go through. But I learned so much. And they are lessons that I will never forget. And I believe that God used this as an opportunity for me 